Oh, what's up, Garrett? How are we doing? Good, man. Um, I think this is my first chance to talk to you, I guess, since coming back or announcing that you're coming back. Kind of take me through that process, and what did you want to get out of this year for the future? Um, you know, I think what I wanted to get out of this year is the same that I want to get out of any year. Um, you know, it's just continuing to get better, you know, never accepting of what I am, you know, and I'm always in competition with what I have the potential to be, you know, not with what I am now. And I think that's kind of the mindset that I've taken, um, you know. I think, like you said, coming back, I mean, I don't think it was that hard of a decision for me. Um, you know, this is where I want to be. You know, my roots are in this state. This is my home. And um, it means something to me to represent LSU and to represent this state and these fans. And also, you know, with my teammates and coaches, you know, I've learned to build relationships with the new staff. And, you know, I, I have a lot of love for them. And, you know, also with my teammates, you know, I, I wanted to finish what we started. So. Um, talking about your coaches, Sloan is coaching you hard. And I'm assuming that you like that. I mean, just kind of. Take me through the dynamic there of, yeah. of getting you better. Yeah, uh, you know, like I told them earlier, you know, the, one of the first conversations me and Coach Sloan had, uh, he told me that he believed that you know he was the best coach in the country to coach me, um, and you know I think that that, that could be true, uh, you know, because we're very similar. You know, I get very emotional at times, um, and you know he's the same way. So uh, he's quick to get on to me, but you know I'm, I'm love I love it. You know I'm used to it, and um, you know that's the way I want it to be. I don't want to be coached to be average. You know I want to be coached to be the best that I can be. So uh, I have a lot of love for Coach Sloan and the way that he coaches me, and so uh, it's been fun. Jaden said at media days that part of his legacy was helping you and Ricky kind of submit yours as well. What does it mean to have? A guy who's who's willing to help and, and that whole room really help each other. You talked about helping Ricky, you know. Yeah, I mean he's done a great job um, leading, and uh, you know we all push each other. Um, you know it's there's no time to slip up. You know we're always competing, um, we're always pushing each other to be the best that we can be, and uh, you know I, I think it's been good. There's a good dynamic in the room. Um, you know Ricky's done a great job since he's got here. Um, you know he's learning, he's growing, and he's uh, he's doing really well. So. Garrett, after all the questions last August, um, how much more confident are you guys right now and what you're doing, all the people that came back from last year's offense, and how potent can this offense be? Yeah, um, you know, I think one of the biggest things Coach Denbrock has stressed uh, this offseason is not about trying to change who we are. It's about, you know, perfecting who we are. And it's the little things. It's the little details and continuing to get those right. And uh, when you're perfect with little details, it starts to open up more things. And, um, you know, I think that's where we will improve as an offense is, you know, focusing on the details and uh, correcting the mistakes that we made last year and continuing to get better. So, Can you speak to how many talented skill players you have? I mean, you have eight scholarship yeah. running backs. You have all these wide receivers, yeah. more tight ends now. Yeah, I mean, it's... It's, it's very relieving as a quarterback um, when you know you're out there and if, if something goes bad and, and you got to put it up to a one-on-one -on -one situation. You know, I've said this before and I'll say it again. It's 100 to none. It's not a 50-50. Uh, so with the guys that we've got, you know, in the tight end room, in the receiver room, and even in the running back room, you know, um, we got a lot of dudes. we got a lot of athletes and they can all make plays. Uh, so it's exciting, you know. I mean, literally from top to bottom in each room, they're all extremely talented. And, um, you know, for us, you know, for me and Jaden, that's, that's a – that's a complete uh, ease of relief. So, it's easy to talk about the skill position players, but what about the offensive line? Kind of growing a lot from last yeah. year to this year. What have you seen from them at this part of camp? Yeah, I mean they've done a great job, um, just growing and learning. You know, getting experience. Especially, you know, we had Will and Emery were two freshmen, and uh, you know now they look like vets. You know, just the way that they go about their business, the way that they act every single day, the way that they lead out on the practice field. Um, you know, that speaks for the other guys, too, the interior guys, you know, Dellinger and, and Miles Frazier and, and Charles, you know, those guys are all returning. And, um, you know, they, they've stepped up big as a unit. You know, you can see that they, uh, they definitely uh, have a force of toughness, you know, within our offense and bring us more uh, of a tough identity. And um, it's awesome to see, you know, that the way that they've all stepped up and, you know, brought everybody with them. So. You obviously had a lot of high praise for uh, Joe Sloan. What have you seen, like, is your biggest improvement, in your opinion, under this coaching staff? Um, I think, you know, the biggest thing that I've improved on under this staff is um, just improving my emotional awareness, um, you know, working through things that, um, you know, I didn't really know how to work through before, um, you know, trying to stay even kill, not too high, not too low. You know, I'm very passionate, and it can come out at times, and sometimes it can it can hurt me, and sometimes it helps me. And I'm um, trying to use that and push that into a way that helps me only and eliminate the emotions that, you know, start to hurt me. Um, you know, I think one of the other big things is I've uh, learned how to just kind of 
focus and stay locked in throughout you know each rep, each play, each drive, and um, you know I think it's helped me a lot. So. Uh, just watching practice so far, the thing that stood out to me about Mason is his catch radius. Just seems like he's always going to yeah. get it. I guess what kind of guy is he that like the leaps that he's taken from year one to year two, and then Pimp and Mac, just their ability to kind of you know have a great first year as well. Yeah, you know Mason's a stud. I mean, uh, it's kind of hard for a tight end uh, to not you know grow mentally when you catch a game winner against Alabama. You know, uh, so. When he goes out there, you can tell he has that confidence. You know, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he accomplished. He knows what he can accomplish. Um, and he stepped up as a leader on the team, too. Um, and you can see it every day. Um, and, you know, like I said, like you said, his, his catch radius is crazy. You know, the, the dude doesn't drop a ball. Um, if you put it up to him, he's going to go get it. And uh, just like the other guys in the tight end room, you know, the, the young guys, you know, they, they have so much talent, you know, and they're learning and they're getting better each and every day. And, um, you know, it's awesome to see how much they've improved and how much they're continuing to improve. And you know, it's a very deep room, a very talented room. So I'm really excited to see what we can get out of them this year. One impressive thing about you seems to be your ability to fit it into a tight window. Um, velocity on throw, do you reach a certain point where I can, that's as far, hard as I can throw the ball or is velocity something that you work on every year? in terms of how you can fit it in? Um, I mean, obviously, you know, I'm always trying to get better. Um, you know, I'm always trying to increase my arm strength. Uh, but to be honest, you know, I, I don't really feel any limitations on, on throws. You know, I feel the confidence to be able to make whatever throw I need to make uh, out on the field. And, um, you know, it's, it's been big for me to uh, learn how to control that aggression. And, um, you know, I, I used to be extremely, extremely aggressive, and I would put the ball in danger and things things that, that hurt me, you know, like I talked about emotionally, you know, I would get too high and think that I could make every play in the world um, and try to force it instead of just, you know, going through my reads, doing what I'm supposed to do and allowing those plays to come to me. And then that's when I should be able to make them. So uh, I wouldn't say I feel like I have a limit, um, you know, of, of when I feel like I can't, you know, I feel like I always have the confidence to, to and the trust in my teammates to be able to, you know, do whatever I need to do whenever I need to do it. So. Uh, a couple months ago, you were in Thibodeau with the Manning Passing Academy. We yeah. didn't get a chance to talk with you then, um, but you were leading a couple of drills with Eli, and you were able to talk with him and Peyton. Did they give you any advice going into this season that you're kind of carrying with you? Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it was good, you know, being around that, and it was awesome uh, to get to, you know, coach a quarterback drill with Eli Manning. You know, I want to be a coach one day too. I'm a coach's kid. I've always been around ball. You know, football is all I know. Football is all I love to do. So, you know, getting to talk to a, a couple greats like that, like, and, and just learn from them and, and listen to the different things they say, listen to the different stories they have to tell, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. And, you know, I hope every quarterback gets to experience that at some point. So, do they give you anything to guarantee? Uh, I mean, nothing I would talk about. I think that's, you know, kind of keep those between me and them. But, like, uh, you no, know, it's just, like I said, it, it was awesome to get to listen to those stories and, and learn different things from them. So, uh, what do you think about the potential of this team? Obviously, you guys took great strides in year one. Yeah. That comfort level, I'm assuming, is higher. Mm -hmm. Everybody's a little bit more focused. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think the, the sky's the limit for us this year. Um, you know, if we handle things the right way, if we do things the right way, um, you know, our defense is ridiculous. You know, there's so many athletes, so many dogs on that defense. It's, it's, it's scary, you know, and it, it makes us better as an offense. You know, when we go against them, it's hard. I mean, it's not easy um, in practice. And so, you know, when we go play on Saturdays, it's, it's going to make the game easier than it is, you know, at practice. And so, like I said, this, this, the sky is definitely, you know, the limit. I mean, there is no limit uh, on what we could accomplish this year as long as we handle things the right way and take things the right way and handle it week by week and focus on what we need to focus on and you know I'm, I'm really excited.